You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin. On Monday, Manchester City east past Chelsea 3-1 at Stamford Bridge yesterday to show their title credentials and pile the pressure on Blues boss Frank Lampard. Pep Guardiola's side impressed and they now sit fifth, but they would go one point off the top if they win their game in hand. Chelsea have now won just one of their last seven matches and the pressure is mounting on Lampard, even if he isn't feeling it. I expected periods of difficulties this year. I said it when we beat Leeds and everyone was championing us to be title contenders. I know that it doesn't come that easy. Um, I know where we're at. Whether it puts pressure on me or not is, you know, it's regardless because one month ago everyone's asking me where when I was signing the contract and now people will be saying different things because in quick succession over a tight, busy period we've lost four games of football. Um, so the, the pressure remains constant in this job and you know that in tough, tough moments that will be there. I Leicester City sit third after yesterday's 2-1 win at Newcastle United, with manager Brendan Rodgers claiming his side can disrupt the league's hierarchy. The Foxes are a point off the pace and are aiming to emulate their magnificent triumph in 2016. Defending champions Liverpool are aiming to stop them though, as they visit Southampton this evening. Thiago Alcantara could start for the first time in two months after his return from injury. Kickoff is at 8 o'clock. And looking across the continent, Atletico Madrid stay top of La Liga thanks to a last-minute winner from Luis Suarez against Alaves yesterday. Bayern Munich lead the Bundesliga after a 5-2 win over Mainz. They were 2-0 down at half-time. And Cristiano Ronaldo has become the second-highest goalscorer of all time as his brace in Juventus' 4-1 victory over Udinese saw him reach 758 goals, one ahead of Pele. Thank you for watching and remember if you'd like to see more then you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels as well as downloading our app for all the latest.